we have it good here. Good seats made on board. Had the two seaters in the port cabin. Yeah. So very comfortable here. Mm. Looks like a pretty good window view of the engine for the takeoff. I'm sitting in seat 17K and Maro is in seat 17J. A little bit better than the Airbus A330 we flew one an hour or two ago from Penang. If you haven't watched that video, we'll leave a link down below. And boarding is complete. We should be ready to go soon. Like on the other flights, we've just been presented with some refreshing towels. Supposed to leave at 1.30, so a little bit delayed. It has begun, as you can see. So gate over there, gate A8. You notice how satisfied those people were looking in business class. Sitting there comfy. They were looking really comfy. Good on them. Engines are just starting up. Goes our pushback target in the distance. Heading down to the runway down there in that direction.
it's here or I can't. As you can see there is Wi-Fi aboard this flight also. On our flight from Copenhagen here to Doha, we had free complimentary one hour. Yeah, it's one hour on this flight too, complimentary Wi-Fi. So Qatar Airways charity video, collecting money for children's education. It's played at the start of all the flights. I think Mara and I both got to take a rest now until they start serving some dinner or snacks. There you go, there we are. Two nerds in the back cabin. It's a very comfortable seat, I tell you that much. Yes. Definitely worthwhile getting these seats. Nice neck rest also, as you can see it bends around the neck. Both sides. And you can lift it up and down too. Seat belt sign has gone off now. Just received the menu. Also written in Arabic. We have a charger cable for the phone or your tablet or whatever device you're using. Mano has already plugged it in for me and it should be charging up. And what's a trip report without a bath bag? Famous bath bag of Mano. Are you there? I can't even see you. There you are. Now that we are in the air, maybe we should have a look at the touch screen. In flight entertainment system called Oryx One here on Qatar Airways. This is a touch screen and it can also be controlled with the controller. We should be able to press the home button and get us back now. Alright, they're not. Let's try again. Enter, press home. Nothing going on. Okay, I'll press the cross and get it off. <coughs> so let's have a look at the, the system. Flight map we've seen already. Our flight information. The last flight there wasn't much flight information. <coughs> Destination information. Entertainment is the interesting one. And we have movies, TV, audios, and games. Try to click it here, it doesn't work with the controller, so it's probably going to be a hand control. We have movies, TV, audio. It's not going to be easy to control, but I can see. Let me try again. First, gonna have a look at the movie selection. It takes a little while to react, I can feel. There we go. Movies are categorized to put into Hollywood movies, Arabic movies, Bollywood movies, world cinema, and coming soon. My language coming soon, obviously, what's coming next month. So the TV programs, or the two program types. Television programs are Best of Oryx, Islam and Life, Arabic, Comedy, Drama, Family, TED Talks, Vogue, GQ, BBC, Sport, Music and Arts, Lifestyle and Travel, Discovery Channel, National Geographic Channel, E, Food Network, World, and that's the TV programs. Audio, we've got the opportunity to hear the Holy Quran, Quran. Featured artists, Arabic music, Western music, Indian subcontinent, world music, just all audio or X1 radio, that was that. We have games and apps. Now we have a selection of the games available on board this flight. As you can see, a good selection of games. So it should keep the children happy also, and the adults. Next up, we look at the kids section. The kids section is movies and television, audio games, all sorts of programs grouped together that are su suitable for children. So children can safely use the infant entertainment system without accidentally watching adult content. There's the Holy Quran. Quran also. There's some information about Qatar Airways there. You can also read about the airline. Extravaganza is the Qatar Airways duty free uh, catalog. See if we can get onto it or not. You can scroll through different categories as you can see. 
of things available for sale. And that was basically it for this in-flight entertainment system. Hope that gives you an idea of what it's like. Let's also have a quick closer look at the controller. See that this controller can also be used as a telephone. This is where you would use your Visa card to swipe it through. It's a games controller and a keyboard for text messaging, etc. So I'm going to take a little nap now until the food comes. That's where we are at the present moment. It's now 19 minutes to 4 here on the old trusty pulsa. Pastries are coming. Thought so maybe we'll just have a look at the tray table before the pastry comes. It's just a light snack, as it. Very modern table. Just pull the switch. There's no latch as such, and it opens up. It is a double folding table with a cup holder on each side, as you can see, and you can pull it back and forth. Also, this one's sticking a little bit, but otherwise it works very fine. Packing away, fold it together and put it away. Drinks, cart and snacks are on the way. I think I'm going to have me a Bloody Mary. What are you having, Maro? Yeah. Tea. Tea and water. No wine today? Absolutely not this time of the day. Huh. Both just received our snacks. I chose the lamb ratatouille Arabic pastry. Maro got a Vegetarian one over here. Tomato, green olive, and red onion and Arabic pastry with vanilla and coconut sponge. That's the muffin, obviously. There you go. Did I have any sponge? It doesn't say any sponge there. Your pack bigger than mine. Huh? Your pack's bigger than mine. <laughs> That's strange. They don't have the pastry, probably. Yeah? They don't, they don't put the pastry with the lamb. Let me open the snack. Let's get to the bottom of this. Maro's is bigger than mine. This is all I'm getting. Okay, it's a nice, wow, look at that. Quite a long one. Yeah. No pastry. It's nice. nice. Looking really good. Have a bite of that. Very meaty. Sm smelling very meaty too. Good. Almost like a spaghetti sauce inside. <laughs> Not bad. You want a bite? No. No, thank you. Uh, no, thank you. She said it in multiple languages. <laughs> what do you want now? Want to show you? It's already looking better than mine. She even gets a muffin with it. Looks nice. Yeah. Maro's just getting a photo for our Facebook and Instagram. If you haven't followed us there already, please do so. We do post a lot of content there that we don't put on our YouTube channel. Oh, pastry. Looking like a good pastry. It's good. Tastes like pizza. It's like pizza. Is it hot? Try and get in a little bit, as you can see. A little bit difficult to see as the light's not so good here Olive. on our space. Olive and tomato. Olive and tomato. Can't complain about that. Oh, there you go. Yeah. One lamb and one olive and tomato pizza-like pastry. Maro also ordered a tea and then orange juice. Was it orange juice? Mango. Mango juice. I ordered a Bloody Mary, which the cabin crew member will bring back to me just now. I shall bring it to me just now. I'm looking like a horror movie here. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Therefore, I'm not going to say anything. Is that you're liking? It's good to get something in the stomach. I was actually very hungry. Well, you can have the rest of pie because I'm not planning to eat that the rest of pie. Huh? You want? Why are you not eating? Sounds like a good deal. Unfortunately, my package didn't come with a muffin. The best muffin I ever had. You laugh. Wish you could have one too. 
just watch, I'll organize a muffin for myself. You'll see. You good? Bring it over here in the light, let me see it. Anyway, you can have the half. Oh no, no, eat. I don't need it. I'll organize my own muffin. Anyway, Maro, as I told you, I'll organize. There we go. I have a Bloody Mary. And I got another bun with the pastry. That's that one here on top. Look at this cute little Tabasco sauce. Salt and pepper. And my lovely Bloody Mary over here. I'm gonna have some salt and pepper in my Bloody Mary. I can never get enough pepper, or maybe. And we've got some salt in the other end here. Got all the salt and the Tabasco sauce over here. And the Tabasco sauce ready for action. There we go, something's coming out there now. Nice little bottle. Didn't use all of it. A little swizzle over here. Cheers. Thanks to all of you who watch our videos and leave us likes and who have subscribed. We really appreciate it. We enjoy having you on board as viewers on our site. Cheers to you all. Mm. Kutai always makes a very good Bloody Mary. It wasn't a bad snack. Breakfast is coming in a few hours time. While we wait for while we wait for breakfast, I think I'll show you now a few of the duty-free magazines. The magazines all come in this nifty little plastic cover, which is quite a good thing to keep them all together, but unfortunately I can see I don't have any duty-free magazine. So for the time being, we're just going to have a look at the Oryx, Oryx in-flight magazine. Just skim that through, I can see the back end of the magazine is written in Arabic. As we come towards the middle section, it's also in English. Lots of articles and lots of lovely pictures. And there you have it, Oryx in-flight magazine. Next up, you have the safety instructions for the Boeing 777-300ER. Just skim that quickly through. I did show that early on. Page over here. Only thing that's different on these safety cards often is the location of the emergency exits depending on what aircraft you're flying with. Here we have the amenities kit. In a moment I'll unpack that so you can see what's in it. Got some earplugs, toothbrush with toothpaste, some eye, eye blinds or sleeping blinds, whatever you call them. Got some lip balm and some cabin socks. There's a little information about our flight. Looks like I just missed it. I have to wait for the next round. Fortunately, we can't scroll between maps at our will here. We're close to Tabriz and Bakuba. Quick look at our outside view. It's getting lighter and lighter. Still making our way up north as the sun slowly rises on the horizon. 3 hours 11 minutes to go, 2,353 kilometers, we should be there at 7.35 in the morning. Hello then and welcome to this little tour of the lavatory of the Boeing 777. I'm actually right in the middle of the galley here, this toilet, so it's going to be a very quick little view of the area. You probably hear me speaking outside, here we have some outer toilet. But, uh, Baby changing table here also. Just opening it like that. It's quite a lot of space. Lavatory below my feet. Cabin crew calling button. Always some wet wipes there early on. Flushing button over here. And the uh, paper tray for the toilets. That's me in one of the mirrors. Hello to you. One lavatory. Coat hanger, a lock, when you close the light automatically goes on, here we have an ashtray, and there we have some tissues, and of course the basin, sorry for that short little tour here, that is because I am in the middle of the galley actually, just
just outside the door here. this on video but we do have a another plane on the horizon next to us so we can catch up on it doesn't look like that now there we go I caught the other plane it's flying next to us there's actually another one just further above let's see if we can get the complimentary Wi-Fi on board to work I'm using an Android phone here Samsung 8 plus or it's come networks I'm connecting and we have super Wi-Fi experience a super Wi-Fi interviews cookies to give you the best blah 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 so we just gotta press accept complimentary super Wi-Fi full flight ten dollars for a full flight uh, Wi-Fi access we just want the complimentary one, which is here. And personal information, email address, etc. I did enter a valid email address and that did work. So let's go and have a look at the Facebook quickly. And there we can see our last update we made was at Doha Airport. 40 of you have liked or commented or liked or loved giving us a thumbs up thanks to all of you who support our channel With the likes and comments always nice hearing from you all hope you're all having a good day out there wherever you are the breakfast has now arrived I took the scrambled egg and bacon or scrambled egg and sausage Maro chose the vegetarian dish I can't remember what it was called I can tell you Oh, maybe you should open it up so we can have a look at it. I got a lot of drinks over on my side, so I'm very careful that I'm not going to spill them. No, that's, that's, the, that's the same as you. Ah, yeah, that's scrambled egg. Oh, then you didn't get it. Well, they probably didn't have any more of them. Well, well it smells good anyway. Yeah, it looks very nice. We've got some apples there also. Maybe you can present them to us without spilling. Okay. Pack of apples, freshly washed, it says. Yeah. A lot of pressure on the bag, as you can see. It's totally blown, blown up. Some yogurt. Yeah. Some good for the stomach. Yips. Croissant. Yips. Lubak butter and strawberry jam. Lobak butter from Denmark, strawberry jam, and orange juice. Here we have orange juice, and let's have a look at the side of it. You can't see through it. A cup of coffee always goes down nicely. This so, time of enjoy the your breakfast. Yes. They're already clearing the trays, or else they're serving coffee. I got the same. I also got a club soda, and coffee. This club soda is the one that's also written in Arabic, as you can see here. So pepper and napkin. Lovely. Well, you got a taste of scrambled egg and tell us how that was. I, just, I recall it wasn't very good on the last flight. Well, <laughs> it was very <laughs> factory. Was this sausage. It's looking okay, this scrambled egg now. Better. A little bit better. Yeah. yeah. Good. Quite good. Good. Okay. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Let's enjoy. Potatoes. I won't eat. No, I won't eat the potatoes either. But the sausage is is very nice. If I can just get a little bit closer in on that. I wonder if I can pick it up with my fingers quickly. See, it's almost a like a frikadel sausage, minced chicken sausage. I know I shouldn't have taken that with my fingers on a plane, but. I wanted to show it. Coming up past the Carpathian Mountains, Bucharest is behind us and Budapest is to our left, 
to our west, I would say. How's your apple? Nice. A pink lady. A pink lady. Well, it's pink apples it was called. Unfortunately, there's a lot of frost on the window, so this is about the best window view we're going to have for now. Well, it's time for a little look around our little cabin. I must say the cabin crew are very good and very friendly on these uh, on this airline. I'm just putting my makeup. On. She's just doing her makeup over there. <laughs> Didn't even oh, think yeah. about that. I was actually making a video here. Yeah. <laughs> Woman can't live with them. Can't what live what did Al Bundy sell? Pass me the beer nuts. Now quarter past seven Doha time. What's Danish time at the moment? Quarter past six. Quarter past six Danish time. Trays are about to be carried away. About to be cleared. I can stretch out and enjoy the last few hours of this flight. I just realized there's one thing I've forgotten to show because I haven't used it at all. That's the headphones. I'm just gonna ask Maro to open this up for me in a second. Okay, she's just taking a photo of me for our Instagram and Facebook. Maro's just gonna open it up so we can have a look at the headphones. And have a look at the socket. The socket does plug into there. So we haven't been able to use our own mobile phones. I suppose you can connect your own mobile phone there but then the sound will only be mono not stereo and there we have it the headphones as you can see those spongy things sometimes on airlines you have to put them on yourself but in this case they're already on and here we have the socket as you can see but when you plug it in it will be like this and in it goes the cabin crew is now separate buried. The cabin for landing is back here. Yeah, I need to blow up my nose. Here we are coming to the end of the journey, We're approaching Copenhagen now. We're not really approaching yet, we've begun our descent. I hope you've enjoyed flying along with us, even though it's been a night flight. Not my favorite kind of flight, because there's not as much to show out the window, etc. Oh, no, okay. I, I was going over to queue for the laboratory, she needs some tissue paper for her nose. And uh, yeah, let's see when we start the approach. As you can see, the mood lights have now become green here in the cabin. And we're about to fly out over the sea towards Denmark. I think that's the island of Bonholm over there. And there we have Copenhagen written in Arabic. The seatbelt sign just went on. The cabin crew is just clearing up the cabins. Thanks for reminding me, Maro. I almost forgot to show the leg room. Let's start with mine. Maro's is always exciting. She's always got business cards. As you can see, there's plenty of space between my knees and the seat, which is a very good economy class space, I would say. Plenty of space under, there's no box, as you can see. No entertainment box as there was in the previous flight. If you haven't watched that, I'll leave a link down below to the previous flight. Lots of bedroom and I can't stretch out. Look at Maro here. We do have the two-seater at the back of the cabin. Oh, that was nice rest also for my leg. So Maro is always playing business class. <laughs> Six minutes past eight, also. There we have our destination of Copenhagen, and we're almost right on top of that, over the island of Bon Holm at the moment, probably. And we have the Swedish coast line up at the top of the picture. The window looks like it's clearing up a little bit, a little bit of a better picture. You still see there's lots of crystals as we make to the left. And the crew's just been told to take their seats for landing. Just above the engine, you can make out the on bridge, the bridge that connects Sweden and Denmark. Just under the engines you should see the windmill park, or just above the engines you can see them turning over there. And that's wind energy at work. And we come over the land. 
then swinging a little bit as we come in. The men's three seats are not for spotting out the window, they don't have a very good view from where we're sitting. There we have the Danish coastline. greener than it was when we left, indeed. A lot of trees on the trees. Nice to be back home again. There's a farmland we're coming in over now. Close to the airport. It's going to be very fast landing. Huh? I think so too. Team coming off, and um, that was a bouncy landing. And we've landed at Copenhagen Airport. I think I'm going to keep this filming to the minimum at this part because there's nothing to see out that window. Or well, you can't see anything out that window. Well, here we are back home again. That definitely wasn't the best landing footage, without any doubt. I couldn't see anything and I couldn't get the camera to focus. So I reckon we just got to end off here and uh, pick it up again when we start disembarking the aircraft. So I'll see you in a moment, unless that window sorts itself out. Damn window. It looks like we're already at our gate. And we are on our way. At least we can make the disembarkation scene. Now that we missed out on the landing scene. Past the business class. As we always admire when we go through. Maybe one day, one day. <laughs> Lovely. And off we go. Thank you very much, bye bye. Down we go. Yes, the lovely weather out there. Excellent. It's nice with a little bit cooler. Yes, nice change. Not that we're complaining, nothing like good weather in Asia. There's the Air Greenland. We need to pick our jackets on from the suitcase. You reckon? Yeah. There's a big A340, look at that. Now we gotta walk and we gotta find immigration. Once we pass immigration, we go down to baggage collection and then we got to take the train home, probably the metro, and that'll be it and we'll start to end the video off. I can see just up ahead. No, I can't. I was going to say I could see the immigration. I think it is just up ahead here to the right. So when we get to immigration, I'll turn there. Yeah, I'll turn the camera off and then we'll see you on the other side of immigration as we make our way down to fetch our baggage. Oh, it's not so bad. We're some of the first people out, I can see. Are we back? Just past immigration. Just have to follow the signs now to the arrivals area. Arno's got a speed on again, so I'm speeding up too. Exit Copenhagen Airport straight up ahead, arrivals area and baggage area. Down to the baggage reclaim area. Isn't it working? Oh, that's very nice. So let's see where our luggage is. There it is, Kotai, West Doha, pending. Number four, belt number four. As we can see up here, this is where you'll check for your Belt. Baggage. Yep. The other one. So we've both got our luggage. Now we have to pass through customs. I'll turn the camera off as we pass through customs. And then when we come into the arrivals area, I'll turn the camera back on again. And here we go. Welcome to Copenhagen. So let's do our goodbyes over here. So anyway, as I said, we're ending off now. Thanks for flying with us on this trip. If you haven't watched part one of this trip report, take a look down in the comments section. I've pinned a whole lot of comments down there. Also videos I've referenced during this video. Thanks so much for flying with us and watching our video. 
apologize for the quality of the landing footage. It wasn't the best, can't do anything about that. That's the frost. We had amazing seats on this plane. Yeah, Couldn't be better. Absolutely. And a very good uh, recline on the seats too. So we can highly recommend those seats if you are flying Qatar Airways on the Boeing 777. 17J and K. 17J and K. But now it's time for us to head home. There's an aircraft taking off out there. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching our video. Leave us a like down below. Remember comment. to subscribe. Comment also as Maro says. Give us lots of comments. We love hearing from you. And yeah, bye bye from me Maxi. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye for now.